Okay, I'm going to show you how to debug a Dart app using Dartium Web Browser, Google Chrome, and Firefox. And so the first thing you need to do for all of those is a pub serve. So just a simple pub serve in my terminal down here. It's serving on localhost 8080. And we're going to be looking at my customer example that's very, very simple here. Let's first open the Dartium Browser. And let's go to localhost 8080 slash customer. And you can see I've got two customers on screen and a merge button that will just merge those two. Let's open tools and dev tools. And what you'll see is the Chrome developer tools that you're used to for JavaScript development. And these actually work with the Dart VM pretty well. So they've built this into Dartium, so it's the Dart VM built into it. And all we can do is set a breakpoint just like we normally would. And you can see it's breakpointing the Dart code here. Let's refresh the page. And it's stopped. I can look and see what my variables are. So let's step over those two. And you can see both my customers exist. And I can see what properties are in them. I can step over them while writing to the HTML. And you can see that as it's happening. Let's go ahead and hit play and we'll look at our click listener. So when I hit merge customers, I get stopped in here and we can continue to see the properties. I can see that my merge customer is null. And if I step over that, I can see what my merge customer has. And I can also look at this print line will go to the console. So once I step over the print line, you can see it prints out there. This console is actually fully functional also. So if I type in merge customer.age, I will see the output. I can also change the age here. So if I type in a new age and hit play, it actually updates that object. So cool. So one more thing I want to show you is you can actually use the shortcut key control O for open to jump to a file. So I can jump to my customer Dart file here, and I can set a breakpoint in there, and click Merge again, and you can see it breakpoints in there. So it's actually a really robust, robust set of tools that Chrome's been working on for many years, and it's cool that the Dart developers have integrated the Dart VM so they can take advantage of all these same tools. So next I'm going to open up Chrome. So this is just regular Google Chrome. Let's go to the same exact URL, so nothing any different. Um, and Dart, the pub serve is going to actually build a Dart to JS file. So now it's running the JavaScript version of this app. And you can see it, it functions the same. But if I open up the dev tools again, you're going to notice it looks very, very similar. Now you see the JS file and you see the Dart file. And if we check the network tab, it actually has this map file. So it's using source maps. So it's telling the browser for this JavaScript code, use this Dart code. Um, so if we go back to the source, I can still set my breakpoints in here. And I can still refresh. And it does a pretty good job. So source maps are still newly supported. Uh, but everything was, for the most part, working surprisingly well for me. So I can still see the different properties on them and I can step over the code and see it work on the page so very similar uh, let's hit merge customers again and capture that so the console the print lines go out to the console still um, now the console isn't as functional this way because it doesn't know what merge customer is at this point um, it's actually trying to pick up the div since that's, I've got the same ID there so it's not quite the same this way but you can step over lines, you can see some properties. Uh, here you can see the scope variables are not the actual scope that's here. It thinks that I'm in that customer file. So if I open up customer.dart again, it thinks I'm, I'm in here for some reason. So so again, it's, it's not perfect. It's using source maps, which are getting better and better every day. Uh, but it is a tool to use, and if there's anything that does go wrong in the JavaScript version, you at least have some tools at your disposal. And next, let's jump into Firefox. Firefox is very, very similar to debugging in Chrome. So it's running the Dart to JS. We can open up the developer tools, the debugger. 
And in here, we have to go to main.dart. And again, it's using source maps, so I can set breakpoints in the actual Dart files themselves. We can refresh. Then it'll hit the breakpoint. I can step over it. See it output. I can hit play and get back to our click handler here. So, so it's working very, very similar. Um, you got the variable output here. You can see this variable output is also wrong in the click handler. So I think source maps is, is part of the, what's going on here. And as Dart improves their source maps, um, these other tools are going to work um, better every day. So, um, yeah, so that's debugging. And the Dartium web browser that comes with Dart, the Google Chrome off-the-shelf browser, and Firefox. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.